Hello guys and welcome back to the Minecraft Mon tutorial. In today's episode, we're going to be going over crafting recipes, smelting recipes and tags. So let's get started. First things first, we're going to be doing crafting recipes. And instead of being in a set of assets, this is now inside of some, a package called data. So create a new package inside of resources called data and then put it inside of your mod ID. So data dot tutorial mod for me and then we're going to create a new package inside of that called recipes inside of here we'll have crafting and smelting recipes firstly crafting recipes create a new untitled text file open up some curly brackets and just save it inside of tutorial mod source main resources, data, tutorial mod, recipes. And then we're gonna choose what we're gonna craft. I'm gonna create a crafting recipe for my tutorial sword. So I'm gonna call it tutorial sword.json. But with crafting recipes, they can be called whatever you want. It doesn't matter what you call them. So you can just call this absolutely anything and it would still work as a recipe. So you can close this and reopen it. So we have the formatting. Then firstly, there's going to be type. So here we're going to have Minecraft crafting shaped. As we only want to be able to make the sword one way, then pattern is the way it'll be organized. Open up some square brackets. And inside of here, we're going to have the pattern. So ingot, ingot, and a stick. So we have our three items here, ingot, ing above an ingot, above a stick. But since we only have one row here, and um, this can be in any um, column of the, um, the crafting recipe, so it can be on the left side, the middle side, or the right side. If we were to have spaces though, this would mean that it could only be on the left side of the crafting recipe. Obviously we want to be able to make our sword in any place. And another example, if you were to put, um, if you were to just put a single item in like that, then we could, it could be placed anywhere in the crafting recipe um, and it would still work. And you can find more about the formatting here um, in, on the Minecraft website. I'll leave a link for it in the description. The next part is the key. We've just said those letters for ingot, ingot and stick. So now we need to actually create a key that tells the crafting recipe what they mean. Open up from curly brackets. Make sure you have a comma after your um, final square bracket. Um, then choose the letter you want. So I. And open up some more curly brackets. Then the type of thing it is. So item. So for our ingot, we're going to want our um, tutorial item. So you're going to want tutorial mod. colon tutorial item and then put a comma after this and then we're going to declare our second key which will be the stick and that's going to be um, also an item but it's going to be minecraft colon stick So we've now declared the key telling it what the each thing is. And the final property in here is result. I'll make sure you have a comma after this um, curly bracket. Then open up some more curly brackets. It's a re result type of item again. And that's going to be tutorial mod 
colon tutorial underscore sod as that's what we want to result. There's a few other properties, something like count. You've got a comma. Count. That can just be a number. So if I put nine here, that means that nine tutorial swords were returned. Um, and there's a few other properties. As I said, you can find them in the link in the description to the Minecraft website that tells you all about crafting recipes. So that tutorial sword will be able to craft in the game now. And you can create as many crafting recipes as you want, and they don't have to be named that. So you can create multiple different crafting recipes for the same item, as long as you just call it a different name. The next thing we're going to do is something called tags. This is a replacement for all dictionary. It was created by Minecraft themselves, um, and it basically groups things together. So it is quite similar to all dictionary in a way. So we're gonna create a tags package inside of the mod ID. And then we are going to um, create an items package inside of here. It has to be dot items instead of dot item. For all recipes, recipes only take in item tags. So you've got to create, even if they are blocks, you still create them as item tags anyway. So in the last episode, we created three different types of or, tutorial or nether, tutorial or end, and normal tutorial or. So we're going to create a new tag. Save it inside of the location and call it tutorial or. Again, it doesn't matter what you call this, as long as you remember the name of it and then refer to it correctly inside of recipes. So firstly, um, this is going to be values, open co colon, open square brackets. And then these are the values in here that will be under the tag. So we're going to have tutorial mod, tutorial or, tutorial mod, uh, tutorial or never. And tutorial mod, tutorial or end. And these are the three values um, that are under the tutorial or tag. And there's one of the properties that's useful to us, which is replace. What this does is basically, um, it's a true or false. I'm gonna put, set it as false. Um, if there's another tag under the same name, um, if it's set to replace false, it will combine the tags together into one tag and make them all under the same thing. If it's replaced true, it will um, have two different tags or it'll override the other tag. Um, just using your tag here. So most of the time we won't replace false, but on some occasions you may want to have replaced true. So now we've created that tutorial or tag, we can now create our smelting recipe. So it will be quite similar to the crafting recipe in a way. So you can copy and paste the crafting recipe, but I'm gonna call this tutorial item smelting. Firstly, it's going to be type Minecraft smelting. And then instead of the pattern and the key, we can get rid of the both of them. We're going to have ingredient. So this is the input to the furnace. And then instead of an item um, ingredient, we're going to have a tag ingredient. So you can put tag. And then you can put this under um, tutorial mod colon tutorial or and put a comma after the ingredient so it will look for the tag tutorial mod tutorial or and then any of the three um, three thing values in that tag will any of the values in the tag will smelt into the same result 
So we don't have to create three separate furnace recipes for smelting each of our ores. They will all smelt into the same thing, which is going to be tutorial item. There's also a couple of the properties. Experience. This is just a float value. So I'm going to put 2.3. I'm not sure how much experience that gives. You'll have to test that value out yourself. It's to basically that value tells you how much experience you get. And then cooking time. So this is if you want to adjust how much, how quickly your item smelts in a normal furnace. You not. You didn't used to be able to do this, but now you can actually adjust individual items smelting time. The default smelting time is 200, but you can set this to any value you want. And that is our smelting recipe done. So all of our tutorial ores, no matter which dimension they're from, will smelt into this tutorial item. Finally, we're going to create a shapeless recipe. This is where you can have a certain any number of items place them in um, anywhere in the crafting recipe and it will create the correct item. Shapeless recipes are actually very similar to the smelting recipes. So just copy our smelting recipe. Um, I'm going to do tutorial item from tools. This doesn't really make much sense, but I just want to show an example. So Minecraft crafting shapeless. Then instead of ingredient, it's ingredients, multiple. It also wants a um, some square brackets around the outside. So we're going to have multiple ingredients. And each ingredient needs to be inside some curly brackets. And you have each different type. So item, we're going to have tutorial mod, tutorial sword. We're going to have a tutorial axe. You can't get experience or cooking time from this, so remove those two properties. But you leave it as result item and then tutorial block. You have still have this item, even if it is a block. So we have our three ingredients there, um, and they can be placed anywhere in the crafting table. So now we've created our three recipes, we're going to boot the game and see if they work. So here we are, we have a crafting table and furnace. Firstly the crafting table, if we put a stick and two tutorial items, we get our tutorial sword. We can put it anywhere inside of here and it will work. Next, our recipe um, for creating a block. We can shove the tools anywhere in here no matter what, it will create a block. Just a correction here, um, you need to remove item from result. You just return um, the actual thing itself. There's no need for um, there's no need for the item tag there. As a result, will always be an item. You can't have a tag as a result. And finally, if we go into the furnace, we should be able to put any of our ores into here, and it will smelt a normal ore. It will start to smelt as well, or an end ore. Everything in that tag will smelt into a tutorial item. As you can see, we've got a tutorial item by smelting one of our ores. So now we have recipes, um, smelting recipes and tags all working in Minecraft 1.13. So thanks for watching guys, my name's been Harry, and goodbye.